What's Aaron Kaufman from Fast and Loud doing today? The Bearded Wonder left the Gas Monkey Garage in 2018 due to personal and professional differences and founded his own boutique resto mod shop called Arclight Fab. Their specialty? Building Ford F100 trucks. He's in Dallas, so big truck country, and really shines when modding 1957-79 Ford F100 trucks. Aaron's bringing in the bacon as his current net worth is $8 million, something he may not have been able to achieve if he would have stayed on as a hot rodder on Richard Rawlings' show. In an interview with Art of Gears, Aaron opened up about why he chose to leave the show, as well as the Fast and Loud garage as a whole. I wanted to build cars that were big or bigger, and then TV needed cars that were much smaller than that. On top of that, there were some growing personal issues and professional differences of opinion, and so I decided the time had come and I could see the fork in front of me. When it comes to TV shows, there are time restrictions imposed on the crew to get builds done. Time is often pressed, and in the classic production matrix, you have scope, cost, and time. Aaron's scope for a build was just much larger than the cost and the time that a television production schedule would follow. Even as a workaholic, Aaron had to put in over 110 hours to get some of the builds done in time. Creative differences over the builds with the star of Fast and Loud got toxic. It even got to the point where, according to Aaron in an interview with Resto Mod Air, uh, I had kind of had enough and, and obviously Richard and I were uh, having a difficulty being in the same building together. Mr. Kaufman went on to another Discovery reality series, Shifting Gears. This time, he was the boss and the star, which he wrote out until its end after two relatively well-received seasons. Aaron Needs a Job was Aaron's follow-up show. On the program, Kaufman would do jobs he's not really trained in. While the show received promising reviews initially, format and the script of the show became quite predictable. Aaron and his Arclight Fab crew have made some amazing builds together. They also did some development work on a Pikes Peak Hill Climb Sierra cockpit car. Speaking of Pikes, remember when the Gas Monkey Garage crew built him that 63 Ford Falcon Hill Climb monster back in 2014 he raced in the clouds? In 2022, Kaufman went back to the world's most dangerous hill climb, this time being behind the wheel of a 1949 Ford F1, nicknamed Old Smokey. Scott Birdsall drove Old Smokey this year in what was to be the car's retirement year and flew off the mountain. Back to Kaufman. He's continued being active in the racing scene, having raced two rounds in the Stadium Super Truck Series. What's in Aaron's future in terms of 2023 and beyond? Well, he's now a brand ambassador for Magnaflow and appears to be working on a project centered on America's most famous road, Route 66. It's sure to lean into his strengths as an Americana automotive aficionado. Trucks, dust, retro gas stations, loud noises, Daisy Duke shorts, dirty South fantasy at its best. Maybe on the show he'll finally finish his daily driver, a modified 2004 Ford F-150 that's been a forever work in progress.